Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Welcome to Tech Dive TV Help Desk. This week, we're answering a question from a friend of mine who has an iPad 2, and he said it was getting slow, slower and slower and slower. Well, the iPad 2 is still a supported iPad. Apple still sells it. Therefore, it's compatible with the latest operating systems, um, the iOS 7, I believe it's up to 7.1.2, um, or maybe 7.2, but I, I think it's 7.1.2. Um, and it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be slow. I mean, it should be, you know, not as good a performance as with a current iPad, but the iPad Air, so to speak. But uh, it still should run fine. So he brought it to me, and uh, it was running slow. It was kind of glitchy. And he, I looked, and he had a lot of apps running. A lot. Like it took me over two minutes to shut them all down. Um, but one thing I also wanted to do after I shut down all his apps was to reset the iPad. Now, I don't mean take away all the apps or clear it like in factory reset. I just wanted to reset it so it would turn off and back on again and clear the memory. So I want to show you how to do that. So here's my, here's my iPad. This is also an iPad 2. At the top, there's this wake and sleep button and at the bottom we have the home button right down here see it right there what you do is you hold down the sleep wake button and you hold down the home button just keep them held down and it will reset itself see it goes black keep them held down even though it looks like it's off when the apple comes back let the buttons go that will reset the iPad uh, clear out the memory, but it doesn't delete any of your applications. It doesn't reset it to factory settings. It just resets the memory. Once the Apple is done, the Apple will disappear, and you'll see again your icons um, after, of course, the lock screen comes up. If you wanted to, at some point, totally take your iPad back to factory settings before you loaded any information on it, you can do that, but it's not done with the buttons. It's actually done through the settings menu in general, and at the bottom there's a reset choice, and then there's a myriad of choices as to what you want to reset, and you can actually reset all the settings and all the contents of the iPad back to factory settings, and basically wipe it like it was new. If you're going to sell it, that's probably what you'd want to do, or if you're going to give it to a friend or something like that, you want to reset it before you, you know, with the general reset. But with what we did, all we needed to do was clear out the memory and reset the iPad so it was, you know, using all the memory it could possibly use. This is David Hale for Tech Dive TV. You have a great day.